come with me, Jake Turner, as I travel the back roads talking with your neighbors and crop experts about best practices in weed control in soybeans. All you need is a minute and Authority Minute. In this episode of Authority Minute, I'm on the road to Stromsburg, Nebraska to talk with Gail Stratman, FMC wheat scientist, about why full herbicide rates provide better control. Hey, Jake Turner here with the Authority Minute. I'm here with weed scientist from FMC, Gail Stratman. Gail, thanks for talking with us today. It's my pleasure, Jake. So Gail, over the last few years, growers have been told by consultants to start using a pre along with their post for weed management. Why is that? In the past, what we did is used a pre-emergence herbicide to reduce the competition, but we could always stand to have a few weeds in the field because they weren't gonna reduce yield. But now, with the resistant weeds in a field, we need to do a better job of controlling every weed in the field as best we can so that we're limiting the weed seed production that's gonna carry this resistant in future generations and future years. Well, once you have a resistant weed problem, how long does it take to get it under control? Well, there again, it's gonna depend upon the weed species that you're having problems with. But, but many of the weed species, especially the small seed of broadleaves that we're having issues with right now, the weed seed life in the soil is fairly short, anywhere from one to five years. So if we can do an effective job with strong residual herbicides in controlling those weeds in that period of time, we can actually see a dramatic reduction in the weed seed we have in that field and start to see our weed problems become less of an issue. So there is hope as long as you address it early and consistently. There is hope, and, and as long as we use strong programs, we use strong residual herbicides to prevent those weeds from becoming established, put less selection pressure on our post-emergence herbicides, we can actually start to get some of these weed problems under control and start to reverse some of the problems we've been seeing with resistant weeds. So Gail, what advice would you give growers who've never used a pre before, but now they have a resistant weed problem? Use a strong residual pre-emergence program. Start clean in a field and then stay clean, and stay clean as long as you can. Don't allow weeds to come up during the season and allow those to escape because that will just prolong your issue later into the season. A strong rate of an authority product can do that and can produce the level of results you're looking for and can also prevent that weed seed production down the road so that you're getting ahead of those weed resistant issues. Well, that's a lot of great information. Thanks so much for taking the time to share it with us. I appreciate it. That wraps it for today. Some great information on how a residual pre-emergence like Authority can provide stronger control and longer residual. There's more to come with Gail Stratman on our next episode. Check it out to learn how to get the greatest value from your pre-emergence herbicide. Keep on coming back to authoritymenute.com to see other episodes. All it takes is a minute and authority minute.